Some are convincing. Others, not so much. Some just make you say, WTF? Welcome to Pretendo 64's Top 10 Knocked Off Toys from the 80s and 90s. Today, we're going to be checking out the most popular toy franchises from the 1980s and 90s, and their imitators. We won't be including video game systems or comic book superheroes, as those are another video. Kicking off this list are the cute little demons of the Cabbage Patch, the Cabbage Patch Kids. They were a cultural phenomenon during the 1980s, and every child needed one, and every parent was willing to do anything for one. So naturally, they found themselves the victims of knockoffery. Their little doppelgangers didn't quite live up to the original, but they were just as soulless and creepy. I mean, just look at them. They were even farced with the weirdly popular Garbage Pail Kids trading cards. These disgusting spoofs even had their own movie. Meet the Garbage Pail Kids. Starring Nat Nerd. Windy Winston, Messy Tessie. Give him a chance, Tangerine. You'll like it. Um, yeah. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? Pulling in the number nine spot is everyone's favorite creepy Teddy, Teddy Ruxpin. Yet another popular toy of the 1980s. Ruxpin was a fun, revolutionary idea. A teddy bear that reads you a story? What? Who wouldn't want to rip that off? These not-so-subtle knockoffs tried to cash in on the popularity of the cuddly automaton. A lot of people still have their teddy Ruxpins. Personally, I like to hang out, slap some Slayer in there, watch them rock out. Number 8 asks that famous question. Who you gonna call? Spook Chasers. These copies didn't even bother to try to be different. The designs are nearly identical to the real Ghostbusters. The only real difference is that these chasers seem to capture their spooks by lassoing them with rope. Not sure how Rope is going to save a family from an interdimensional demon, but cool, I guess. Rushing into number 7 is G.I. Joe, the real American hero, as opposed to the fake ones. G.I. Joe was reborn in the 1980s with a Saturday morning cartoon that introduced a plethora of new characters and an entire organization for the Joes to fight. Cobra! This action figure line was ripe for the copying. The not-so-real American heroes sometimes even had their own... bad guys? Really? That's the best they could come up with? Just bad guys? Also, the snake on the package looks really familiar. Stomping in at number 6 is none other than the Kaiju King himself, Godzilla. Although much of his initial string of movies ran from the 60s through the 70s, his popularity with kids exploded in the 1980s here in the US, mostly due to VHS rentals and TV reruns. And so, already being a foreign property, he was ripe for the picking. Most knockoffs were simply just the big fella himself with a slightly different name and color. Others were a little more derivative. Rolling into our number 5 spot are the Transformers. These robots in disguise literally made children of the 80s lose their minds. What? Robots that turn into other things? Some of the knockoffs really held their own and made a name for themselves. Like the GoBots. But most are just the bottom of the barrel of the toy industry. The Transformers are still running strong today, and so are their knockoffs. No dollar store can escape the clutches of this rip-off classic. Our number four spot belongs to some mighty action figures, and they have some mighty knockoffs. Considering that the Power Rangers themselves were a pseudo-knockoff, it shouldn't be surprising that they spawned their own. 
This show was widely popular in the mid to late 90s. And like the rest of the toys on this list, they had their share of copycats. This is another franchise whose almost but not quite have become a dollar store toy aisle staple. Next up is one of the most duplicated toys of the 1980s. Masters of the Universe, aka He-Man. Mattel struck action figure gold when this shirtless Adonis first held aloft his magic sword. Masters of the Universe lived up to the name by being one of the decade's most popular toys. With a title like that came imitators. Most were completely blatant ripoffs. And others left you asking, WTF? Troll Fighters? Of Trollandia? Epic. There is absolutely no question about what comic book turned cartoon ruled the world from 1998 to 1993. The theme song is forever embedded in our minds. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have become an iconic piece of history, ripe for the bootleg and knockoff market. The Green Machine had and still has their fair share of imitators. From the great new style tortoise to simple karate turtles, all the way over to the mighty mutant power turtles. What is that, a movie? Nope. Just some gum shaped like a VHS. Total bummer, dude. What else could we expect at our number one spot but the juggernaut of the toy industry? Star Wars. Now, technically speaking, the first toys did come out in 1978. But we're really looking at the knockoffs here, which were prevalent in the 80s and the 90s. Plus, I mean, it's Star Wars. Come on. No explanation can attest to the popularity of the Star Wars franchise and the vast merchandising empire it has spawned. Bootleggers had found their golden goose. Everything from Pubaka and Space Robot to some very convincing lookalikes and some very odd combinations like uh, E3PO here. So like, does he constantly complain about wanting to phone home? What's his deal? For some reason, everyone's favorite Sith Lord finds himself the most imitated. But my personal favorite is of course Darth Vader, the Hawaii Five-O edition. You do not want to speed through his neighborhood. Did we miss any? What were your favorite toys as a kid? Did you ever find any weird knockoffs or bootlegs? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, check out our others. Share, like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.